Hi everybody and welcome to Sunday morning. It's about 20 to 6 in the morning. Rebecca and I are just getting ready to go off to Bolton Toy Fair. Uh, we've got sandwiches made. Uh, we're going to take a few bits in the cooler so we don't have to spend money whilst we're at the Toy Fair because obviously the prices in the stadium can be a little bit high for the food that you're getting. So we've got a few snacks with us. Um, we're then going to go off to the shop, load up the car, fuel up and make our way down to Bolton. A little bit of an update, it's now just gone past six o'clock. Um, Beck and I have just finished loading the car up mm -hmm. um, and we're on our way to Bolton. It's an absolutely stunning morning. The sun is just coming up and as you can see, there's like a nice little red hue to the sky. It's super quiet. We're the only ones making any noise on this high street right now, so I feel kind of bad. <laughs> it's about 10 past seven and we've just arrived at Bolton uh, Stadium. We're in the car park. Setting up is a bit later than I th thought it would be. Um, they're actually saying set up from eight o'clock, but normally they do let people in a lot earlier. It's normally about half seven in our previous experience. Um, or it even, has been as early as seven. It apparently, Hi. it apparently has. <laughs> apparently, it's been as early as seven. Uh, so we're gonna just uh, chill out for a bit. Um, we're seeing a lot of traders turning up with their cars, and um, I'm really excited. And 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 so is Beck. We're still waiting to be let in, uh, but tip for anyone that's uh, coming to the toy fair as a trader, uh, you need to go to the hotel reception and um, register your vehicle. Otherwise, uh, they've got a new parking system, which will mean that you'll get a fine. Um, so obviously, if you don't want to get fined, go to the hotel reception, tap in your number plate on the little tablet they've got, and you're good. Obviously, this information is only useful for those people that are going to be setting up as a trader at the toy fair, but just in case anyone's watching. Guys, we're just setting up now. Um, it is quite cool. A lot of the dealers are in already. You can see everyone's setting their stalls up we're just setting ours up as well and i think we've just made our first sale of the day with that tails plush super that's the carnage that is our stall as you can see we've got a good variety of stuff on it it is a bit crammed i don't think we ever get enough table space but it will do i'll take you for a little walk around as well see what other people are setting up cool. loads of cool die cast here action figures and over here, we've got some really nice custom stuff, including trapdoor. All right. Really cool miniatures. Love that Ultimate Warrior as well. Oh, they are gorgeous, aren't they? Take you around a few more stalls. Hiya. Oh, yes. Hiya. Is it all right if I have a quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cheers. As you ask, yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh. That's mainly last week. Nobody asked for anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think people just think it's standard now, but it, you should still ask. I always love walking past this store. This is, I believe, Rexy's Reviews. It is. It is. It is. Yes. Um, you've got like a shop as well, haven't you? We in have, North yeah, Shields. In South, South Shields. So South, South Shields. Okay. Yeah. 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 Super. Yeah. Always an amazing selection of dinos, especially all these kind of variants. These are just so detailed. Absolutely love these. Definitely worth checking out. You should come down to Bolton Toy Fair, people. We can see it in person. <laughs> <laughs> While I've been just uh, walking around the fair, Rebecca has been doing a great job at tidying our stall up. It actually looks a lot neater now. Um, you can see, you can see a lot more stuff, a lot easier. So uh, a big thanks to Beck, really. There she is. So we are at Collectors Den store. You can check out their website there, collectorsden.co.uk, and they've got a super cool selection of hot toys. Star Wars stuff. Absolutely loving the look of that Hulk Buster as well. I'm sure that is an impressive toy out of the box. Uh, some really cool stuff. And we've got some of the old the uh, reaction figures as well. They're super cool as well. And a whole bunch of NECA stuff too. Amazing selection of toys anytime you come to this toy fair. Really do enjoy it. Right guys, it's here about it's about nine o'clock. We're 
properly set up and um, we've actually sold a few bits and pieces which is good um, and now we're just going to be waiting for the regular customers to be coming. Uh, the Toy Fair is now in full swing, plenty of people in the hall, lots and lots of customers. We've actually had quite a few good sales so can't grumble so far, hopefully it will continue. It's about quarter to three and we've just started packing up. Um, everything's back in boxes, most of the other dealers are also packing up. Overall it's been a great day. Um, Beck is working frantically uh, so we can get home ASAP. <laughs> Rebecca and I Rebecca's it. Rebecca and I would like to mention the sponsor of this video, which is Sainsbury's No Added Sugar Fiery Ginger Beer. This stuff is potent. The fiery ginger beer, me and Beck have been sipping this and woo! It can get it gives you, you a right little tickle at the back of your throat. It really does, it really does. <laughs> um yeah, it's just gone past three o'clock and we've just finished loading the car up. I've got to say I'm surprised at how quickly everyone started to pack up but also I can understand it. The footfall wasn't quite there but surprisingly we actually had I think so far our best performance at, at, Bolton, this, uh, at, yeah, Bolton. at Bolton. Yeah. Yeah. So even though the footfall wasn't amazing uh, we actually did really well and the majority of what we sold today was um, the majority of what we sold today was the retro video game stuff the retro plushes. I, I don't think we sold a great deal of new in box at all. A couple of items. Just a couple. Just a couple. Anyway, we're on our way home um, and we'll be powered through our journey by this fiery ginger beer. Honestly, guys, if you haven't tried it, it's £1.65 for a whole pack of six, I believe, or is it even eight? It might, it might be yeah, six. Of six. six. This stuff is potent. <sighs> yeah. We haven't drunk all six times. No. No. But still time oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it gives you that <laughs>